Welcome, folks, to 2022 Fishing Planet Guide uh, for Beginners here on Fishing Planet. And just to give you guys a brief introduction, because you guys are new to Fishing Planet, I'm Super Dave. I do tons of videos and guides on Fishing Planet. I've done over 600 in the last two years, making me the most active person on YouTube for this game. So if you ever need some help, I've done all the missions in the game uh, at least once and probably more than once obviously and uh, I don't normally promote myself but I figured I'd let you guys know uh, who I am because this is your first run in with the game and I have guides to help you on every lake obviously and we do live streams as well right here on YouTube but anyway guys let's get started because I want this to be a short video and help you all quite a bit here folks now first things first with the menus and Kind of the other categories to get through with these menus and stuff like that are going to be a little um, difficult to go through at first, but you'll get used to it. You'll have no issues with it. So at the top of your screen, the first thing you're going to want to do is go over to the settings tab right over here. And you can see how I have mine set up. And we will we'll go in here right now. As you can see, you want to set your language up to the way you want it. And you can set it to metric or imperial. If you don't know what Imperial is, that is feet and inches and pounds. Um, the tackle load indicator we'll probably get into a little bit later, but you want that set to pro, not simple. Um, also, bobber size, you're going to want all the way up, uh, so it's easier to see your bobber. And in audio, you can switch your sound volumes to what I have them if you want, but the most important thing is to hit uh, your float fishing bite sound. And then go ahead and hit apply down at the bottom okay so uh, first things first we're going to talk about your inventory and stuff like that so in here you can equip a bunch of gear we'll go over the gear and stuff a little bit later in the episode but this is where you can see where you have it and uh these numbers up here are your poles in your slots red meaning they're not fully equipped White meaning there's nothing in there. Green meaning that you have like a lure on there, for example. So it is ready to go or a bait or whatever it actually may be. Um, that Now over here, one thing I want to stress very, very heavy is on the bottom of the screen, that bottom row, you will see the controls to do all the things you want to do. And they'll change when you're in different categories so just keep that in mind if you're not exactly sure what to do go ahead and that's where you'd want to look now you have a few things on your inventory you have your backpack which is your poles and reels uh your line your tackle um meaning hooks sinkers floating stuff baits here jig heads and jig baits and you will get hard baits here uh, and also top water is in this category as also bass jigs spoons and spinners your bait ground baits outfit and tools and this is miscellaneous stuff here and what this is over here on the top as you can see the controls right there l2 r2 it'll be different for all platforms obviously but it will say up there and as you can see this is your home storage this is the storage that you can carry with you um, and it is the same things just at home as you can see there is at the bottom of the screen there is a limit to your home storage it'll be different as you play the game um, and there is a limit for your bag as you can see down there and the bottom now we'll go over a special category these are like trophies that you've gotten miscellaneous items will be in here too Templates are when you have a pole that you want to set up a certain way. For example, we'll go over here and we will just set up a phoenix. You can just hit this button when you set these templates up. I have a video in the guide's description on how to use the templates. Um, this is just a beginner's guide. You're not going to be using this too much at a beginner. And these are your active licenses on your right screen. This actually is handier than it gets credit for if you do want to check um what you do where where you have active licenses for all right so we're going to start with the polls first off 
there is different poles, but basically, essentially, you need to know the different types. Uh, there is three functioning poles, essentially. There are float poles in the game, which uh, you throw a bait with a bobber of some sort out into the water. There are spinning ones, and then use a artificial lure. And also, there are bottom rods that, uh, instead of using a bobber, they bot uh, bot <laughs> instead of using a bobber, they go straight to the bottom like a bottom rod. This actually has more categories. Feeder uh, and carp rods also go into the bottom rods on how they act. And just so you know, once you learn how to use a bottom rod, these will be exactly the same. For a spinning rod, you need some sort of lure. If there, this, this spot right here is for a leader, a titanium leader, in case the fish has teeth, you're going to want to equip that. Um, if, if you're going after pike, for example, you're going to want to eat a titanium leader there. Also, when you're setting up your poles, you want to keep them around the same weight. As you can see, these are all 13. This is a perfectly balanced pole. There is no better balanced pole in the game. Um, but if you do have weaker stuff, you want your reel to be the weakest slightly, and then the line slightly, and then the rod. Um, but you want to keep them all very close to each other when setting it up. Early in the game, this will be harder to do. Now, as we go over for a float pole, the, what this spot is for is bait. This is for your hook. This is, again, for your leader. This is your bobber. And these, this is your real line and pole. Um, just so you know, this right here to your right, this is your depth. And this will be either in inches or centimeters. And you can go deeper with it or lower with it. And then we will set up a bottom rod here really quick so you can see exactly what a bobber rod is. This is a bell. It'll ring when you if there is a fish on. And this right here is your bait hook size or your hook, your leader, and a bottom rod or feeder pole or carp always need some sort of leader because they are down on the bottom. Um, and you're most likely, uh, you know, gonna it's going to vary if you need a titanium leader for teeth on fish and you can use mono or photo for others. Uh, the And then all bottom rods, including the carp rods, and feeder rods have a sinker, uh, and that is just to cast out with and to keep it down. And then again, line and um, reel and pole. Again, with all the poles, you want to actually keep them um, actually pretty close to each other. As you can see here, 19.5, 19, 19, 19 um, is a good setup. Okay, for buying and setting up poles too, you're going to want to keep in mind, if you look at the right-hand side, I'll put my handy-dandy arrow there, uh, and you're going to look at the four squares. The top two are going to be, the top left is your spinning, is a spinning reel that is a type of reel that it requires, and the top right is a casting reel. The bottom square is a float uh, or a bobber, and the right one is a lure. So, for example, this is a lure pole. This is a flow pole. If both of them are grayed out, they're one of the bottom rod configurations that I showed you or talked about earlier. Also, too, when you're looking in your inventory, as you can see on the left side, you can see the lure weights. Or, for example, um, you can do over here, you can see your casting weight. That's kind of what you want to know what to equip for your weights on your lure or your sinker in whatever ounce you may be using too and quickly just to show you how this would work is this is a bobber pole or a full pole so and you would see that it's a spin reel not a casting reel so when you bought this pole you would want to go to your spin reels like here because you can pick either casting or spin you want to go to spin and any from this category will work as you can see, it is highlighted on that left side on the top square. Okay, now as you want to go ahead and start worrying about things that are important to you, the most important thing in the game is not your fish pole. It is actually 
your keep net or your stringer as you can see here this is the thing that you always want to upgrade first because it is depends on it dictates how much money you get in a day so you can only fill up your bag once per day so if you can't put if you're at a bigger lake and you catch a 26 pound fish not only is that bigger than the net you can keep in a whole day you're not even gonna be able to put that in there because you can see the max single weight is 5.5 pounds so you can only keep a fish that is 5.5 or smaller and the total fish weight is how much you can take home for a day and fit into your bag if you can't fit it in you will gain no money for that fish so you want to have that also something to notice too note through here that this is really important to upgrade but if the uh let's say you have this bag at 44 pounds into 20 sometimes it may not as you can see it may not be um a way good reason to upgrade right here and this one is 44 into 20 so you can see there's not a major upgrade here guys at all uh, so you may want to wait until this one right here or maybe this one here um, but just keep in mind like I said that this one to this one isn't a big deal but once you get farther up you can see the weights get higher and more stuff to unlock also in here are your vest tackle boxes and one thing I do want to mention too is you can use a stringer instead of a keep nut and early game a stringer is going to be cheaper to repair and cheaper in general so they are very a very usable option in the beginning of the game. The one difference is you cannot throw a fish back in with a stringer. Now on the exact opposite side of the spectrum, this is the one thing I see players do way too often that really hurts you. They worry too much about their boat if they have one. Um, this kayak right here for $20,000 does exactly the same thing as this 400,000 bolt right here the only difference is this is going to be quicker and uh, also uh, this has a fish finder but they I don't use them too often on the game and in the game so there is no difference between this except for speed honestly all right one thing I also would say for advice early game is don't worry about if you win or lose but I would definitely do your amateur comps when you're low level uh, to help win X series gear, which is the best gear in the game. Also, there's this one comp here that we have up called School of Bass that you only get to do at one time. I definitely would recommend doing it just so later on, if you care about your challenges, that is one of the challenges that you can't get later on is that mission there. But as you can see here, there is amateur comps and they are a very good way to gain um, experience just in there because you're not fighting the max level players in them and you can get some really good gear from them as well okay as you guys can see here these are the licenses in the shop um, and before you want to fish you want to get an advanced license I would never recommend ever buying a basic license um, it limits you on what you can catch and what you have to let it go give away the advanced license will let you keep everything but there is a couple fish in the game um, that are restricted even with the advanced license, uh, but them are later game So you want to worry so much about them and these days on this on as you can see in here the one day three day Week month unlimited them are based on real life days not fishing in game days So these if you buy a advanced license for Texas right now You have 24 hours before you would have to buy a new one um, and also you could buy them with bait coins um, at, I would actually recommend holding off on that until you know what lakes you really like and maybe go to or if you're going to do a lot of comps in the lake because bait coins are hard to get under my name up there on the top right you can see the bait coin it is a different type of currency it is very generally pretty hard to get I have a video on bait coins in general but briefly you're going to want to use them for barbless tackle because it gives you 20% more XP and uh markers for your map that you can buy in the services shop here you can buy marker buoys with them and them are very handy on to use on your map when you're at a lake okay so before you go fishing to, at a place as you can see here congo the new map you want to make sure you can cover your license cost and 
your travel costs. So your travel cost plus the day is 26. And only do one day. Don't add days to this because you can just add them while you're there at the lake and they don't cost anything. Also, before you go, you want to make sure you have all your tackle and gear that you want with you because if you have to buy it while you're there, it's a lot more expensive than the world shop. The local shops are pricier. And also, if you don't know what you're going to need and you haven't been somewhere before, just go ahead. As you can see, this is a new lake. And you can go over here and it will tell you what preferred baits and lures it most likely is going to use. One other thing to note while we're on this menu too, guys, is that if you go ahead and take a look, if you haven't caught a certain fish, I've caught every fish in the game, but at this lake, they, you'll see that if you haven't caught it, it'll be grayed out. And if you've caught it, it'll be much brighter, as you can see right here, the trophy and unique on this first fish. I have not caught the trophy and unique yet, so it is grayed out. That kind of gives you an idea of what you have caught and what you haven't caught at this lake. One real quick thing, too, as you can see here, these are grayed out. That means I can't equip them to that um, without a, for example, we'd have to put a jig head on first. But if it's grayed out, that means you can't equip it to that pole in its current state. Um, so we'll go down here. We'll equip a bass jig. As you can see, we can equip these. And this second thing right here that pops up sometimes will allow you to put what's called a trailer on or a, like a soft bait or... Uh, or, or a spinner tail you can go ahead and put that on there just like that and then you're good to go now on this menu right here guys I want you guys to see the top left is your day your temperature your water temperature <clears throat> that thermometer looking thing in the middle is your barometric pressure and you have your wind also, what is in your keep net and uh, the underneath that, under where it says max, is the max um, size fish you can have in your net. And then on the right hand side is the lure that you are using um, or bait, because it can be bait as well. And then as you cast in, you'll have another one that will show you your lure action that you're using. The three bars are the stress that you are putting on. The particular pole, as you can see, when we do catch something, they will go up, and you want them to be balanced. And this is why I had you switch it to pro instead of simple, because you will, on simple, you only get the worst one. You won't be able to see what all three are doing. And under them, as you can see, those are your actual uh, wear and tear. And then below that is how many feet out of how much real line you have. And then around the circle is your drag power, with it being the drag speed in the middle. Okay, now when you're here at the lake, you can see the forecast in these peaks and valleys. will kind of give you an idea of the bite rate and how, how, much, how fast the bite fish are going to bite. I wouldn't necessarily go by them, but early, early on, they will help you out a lot. So we are actually going to go later in the day. So it's easier to catch fish. And there, and as you can see, once we do get one hooked up here, we'll cast out. And you can use that little aiming thing to aim where you want to cast. And then match your power up to it as your casting distance and go out there. Um, but we want these bars, when they do hit, as you can, you'll see here in a second, to be as close to the top without being all the way up through the bars you don't want it to break but you want it to be getting as much as you can out of the pole there you go as you can see we just got him now this guy's real light but you can see the pole is pretty balanced and it's not even close to maxing it out there we go right here all right as you can see this is the jig winner with 13 across the board you can max out your reel without breaking it by the way um, but the other two you want very close to the top but not up to the top completely all the way up there with a red it'll give you a red deal and let you know that it's too far all right another handy tip is when you guys catch a fish if you want to place down a marker if you do have spare markers you can pull out your map which is triangle on playstation 5 or ps4 
and you can pull out your map look at the depth flakes and also you can go into marking mode and set the last fish so you can see when we go ahead and look you can see we casted right out there and it'll put a mark down for you so when you look at your mark on the map and you see a mark there you can see oh that's where i caught a spotted bass with a mini bass jig and i'll tell you when you caught it the size of it everything um I, this is what i use my bait coins on most you are right now currently as of this video allowed to have 1500 markers and as you can see i have almost all of them used um, they are very handy as you can see you can put the real speed on or for event fish when they come out you haven't caught them in a while you can remember oh this is where i caught a historic bass or for example you just place marks out so this is a mark to let me know this is a deep spot so as you can see when we go look at it now i have a marker right over there for the deep spot just like that there's one there and there's one right there let me know that's a little deeper than the other areas but you can use them however you wish but they definitely will help you out quite a bit also, if you're struggling with some sort of fish or you need some help, don't hesitate to ask in random lobbies. A lot of people will help you out. And is also, you can look on YouTube for a particular fish or mission that will help you out a long ways. For example, if you go right to my YouTube page on the front of it, you will see there is locations, or guides by location. So, for example, I have a playlist with all the fish you can catch here and the missions as well uh, so if you do need help otherwise there is other great content creators out there to uh, help you out as well um, so hopefully this helps you out guys we'll see you next time have a good one folks